Okay, let's try to make snake in less than 50 lines. Um, snake is drawn on a board. I'm going to make this board uh, width 30, height 30, block size is going to be 20 each, each rectangle. And so um, in Java, we can do um, this. Uh, we're going to try to make this program work for both Java and JavaScript. If I run this right now, it looks like this. Um, now, this line of code doesn't work in JavaScript, so we're going to need to do size 600, 30 times 20 is 600. Uh, so let's do that, and that's going to work as well. Okay. Um, and the screen, um, let's make it a background of white. And we're going to draw a bunch of lines for the grid. I, I could also use rectangles, but I'm going to pick lines. Uh, line I times BS. So this is going to be a vertical line, height. Okay. Uh, height. This is going to be a horizontal line width okay okay and then now we, we're going to draw a snake somehow and uh, we need to sort the positions of the snake before we do that so um, let's see let's sort it as an array list now in Java we have link lists which for the purpose of the snake are a little bit faster uh, because we're going to be removing things from the front or back of the snake, adding things to the front end. But I'm um, using ArrayList because uh, JavaScript processing has ArrayList. It doesn't have link list. Okay. Um, let's now draw the snake. Yeah. So we can now loop through this array list. Um, notice x dot size, not x dot length. Okay. Um, now rectangle uh, size is what you use to get the size of collections. Length is what you get for uh, arrays. Um, okay, and let's make our snake uh, green, RGB02550. Okay, and so right now we can't see any snake because we didn't put anything into these array lists. So let's put a starting position of 5, 5. Okay, and okay, now we have um, a snake, which is just one dot right now. Uh, I'm not going to make this exactly like snake, so I think in real snake you, you start off with more than one point, but whatever. Um, now we're going to need to make the snake move around, so uh, let's say we're going to have a direction of some sort. Um, and the direction, we're going to start off as a number between 0 and 3, so four directions. Um, and the directions are, well, if you're moving in the... Let's make it up, down, right, left, or something like that. So up, down, right, left. So x will be that. And then dy equals up, down, uh, right, left. Okay. Um, and so uh, every few frames... Frame count, let's say every five frames, we're going to move our snake by adding something to the beginning of it. So add something to the x dot get zero and add what? Well, uh, some dx, okay, and then y dot add y dot get zero and plus dy, okay, um, and then okay, okay, and y dot remove. And, okay, cool, our snake is moving right. Okay, now it's not, uh, if I remove this, it'll actually, you know, control forward slash, um, it'll actually get longer, but, we, you know, we're only going to get longer when we eat apples, so we'll work on that next. Um, oh, okay, so this is good so far. Um, we're going to have to make it so that we can actually move up, down, left, and right before before I add the apples. Um, say so whatever you press the key. Um, the direction is going to depend on which key you write. I can write an if statement. Um, let's make it WASD. W will move up. Um, S will move uh, down. Okay. Um, and so let's say the the direction you're going to move is if uh, you picked S, you're going to move down, uh, which was uh, the first one of these. So actually, in Java um, and most programming languages, uh, down is positive in Y. So actually, this is down, up, right, left. So S is going to be down. Um, and then, let's see. Um, uh, if we're going to do uh, W, it's going to be up. OK. Um, and then uh, A is going to be left and D is going to be right. So key is D, key is A, and otherwise we'll do negative one. Okay, so um, 
does that compile? Okay, yes, it does. And um, if um, now we don't want to be able to uh, do certain things. Uh, so if new dir is not negative one, uh, then uh, we're going to make it so that we can do dir equals new dir. Okay, and okay, I'm hitting down, left, up, down, right, down, left. Okay, great, 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 great. Um, excellent. Okay, so now we want there to be apples of some sort. Um, for the purposes of simplicity, I'm just going to make it so there's one apple, apple x, uh, apple x equals, I don't know, 12 equals 10, let's say. Um, okay, and then we're going to draw these apples somewhere on the screen. Let's make them uh, red. Let's draw it right here, okay. Uh, fill 25500 zero, zero, and uh, rect apple x, apple y. Okay, is there an apple? Okay, there's an apple. And um, if we touch the apple, um, then uh, something's going to happen. If x dot get zero equals apple x, and y dot get zero equals apple y, then, then we're going to get longer. So, and also we need a new apple. So apple x equals I don't know, a random number from zero to width. Okay, and apple y equals. Let's just put it at a random position. This is kind of quirky because this means that the apple could potentially spawn on top of where the snake is. But the um, first purpose of simplicity, that's that's what we're going to do. Okay, um, so now um, if we touch it, we get longer. Okay. Now nothing stops us from going off the screen and dying, uh, so we can uh, also we can kind of touch ourselves in the circles, and that's <laughs> that's not good. Uh, so uh, we should have to be able to die. How do we die? Okay, um, let's make a boolean called game over. In the beginning of the game over is not true, uh, and all of this game stuff happens if the game is not over. Um, I'm going to make the if statement. So if the game is not over, not game over, uh, then let's run all this stuff. Control T to auto indent. Okay, and then otherwise, uh, I'm going to uh, fill zero and uh, make some big font and text game over. Let's say uh, at the center of the screen. We can also do text align center. Uh, Align that, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, and let's say if you press a key when the game is over, press key, press key, then the game restarts. Let's say if you press space, space. Okay, okay. Then um, clear the array list, clear the other array list, re add yourself to the beginning of the screen. Game over equals false. Okay, so this is how, what happens if you lose. and what causes us to lose? Well, after we add ourselves, if uh, we are past the left side, or past the top, or um, these uh, items are also past the other side, so zero uh, is greater than equal to the width, or y dot get zero is greater than equal to the height, then game over equals true. Okay, so this that kills us. Okay, Ooh, this drawing of text is at the bottom. Okay, so go off the left. Okay, go off the right. Go off the left. Go off the right. Okay, this is a little bit awkward. Let's try to go off the bottom. Okay, good. And space resets. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, now we also need to be able to prevent ourselves from hitting ourselves. Right. We shouldn't be able to. Okay. So let's do that. Um, it's going to be a for loop through every single other position in the array. One. Besides the head. And if the head. Uh, is equal to that position, uh, then also the game is over. Okay, so that uh, is going to be that. Okay, excellent. 
and we can also die. So be cool. Oh, uh, but one one issue is that um, we can move back into ourselves. I'm going up. I can hit the down key. So I shouldn't be able to do that. So um, we should not be able to uh, once we're longer than one. So once uh, we're uh, once we're longer than one, then we need to make sure that. We cannot go back on ourselves. Zero plus dx neuter and y dot get one plus dy. So this is calculating the next position that we're going to go to, and it can't go back on ourselves. Okay, do I have enough parentheses there? Then okay. So in the beginning, you can go back onto yourself because don't have any length, but then you can't. Okay, excellent. Um, that's pretty much it. So that's Snake in a nutshell. Um, and now there's a few other things we could do with it, but let's let's make sure this whole thing works in JavaScript. How many lines of code do we have? Oh, we've got a little bit more than 50, so I'll have to show you how to shrink it. Um, but let's... Okay, and to turn it into JavaScript, we'll just switch it like that. Okay. And now we're in JavaScript mode, and I should be able to run it. Aha! Uh -huh, and it works. Oh, some of the collision detection is not quite working. X dot get one equal equal x dot get zero plus x dx neuter y dot get one equal equal y dot get zero plus dy neuter. Let's give that a try. Okay, that was right. That's not quite right. Oh, it looks like I forgot a knot here. Right here. Okay, I think we're done. <laughs> well, there you go. That's snake. So. Uh, I'll include a link to the code below. Probably put it in pastebin. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.